and pensive. So many people are afraid to work hard because they think they're going to get hurt. All right? So uh, you have to find a line. Do the extra reps, add more weight and resistance, increase your range of motion as you get stronger. Turn up the heat as you get stronger. Higher reps, lower reps with more weight. What's right for you? You have to figure that out. There's a gal who did uh, uh, P90X. I won't say her name, but some of you might know who she is. She works for, uh, for Beachbody. And she used the same three and five pound dumbbells on day one to day 90. Anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I'm doing that P90X, yeah. This is happening, I don't know why, it's weird. <laughs> All right, so, uh, the over-under, under-training and over-training. Under-training, it's obvious, right? You're never sore, uh, you don't see results after 30 days. Uh, your diet is like whatever, you're not really into the diet part, you're just going to kind of wing it in the workouts periodically. There's a lot of folks who do it that way, and then like, we get the phone call, well, I don't know, this thing doesn't work. Because you are not doing it properly, right? <laughs> Hello. So overtraining, overtraining for the guys, you know, it's usually guys, right? They're doing push-ups like this. <laughs> <laughs> Five. <laughs> Are they doing capital like this? <laughs> Average heart rate, one ninety seven. Heart attack. <laughs> All right, so where the heart monitor be a six, seven, eight, it takes time and patience. All right, so it's good to be intense, but don't be too intense. And when do you when do you put on the brakes? Say, for example, if you're doing bicep curls and you've got a weight that's too heavy, and your goal is ten or twelve, and you're at eight, you have two options: pause, put them down, grab a lighter weight, or chill for a second. Tony, hold on, buddy. <laughs> And do a couple more like that. Don't compromise your form so that you can reach that goal number that your body can't do that day. Because some days you feel strong and some days you feel weak and that's just life. You know, we don't understand that sometimes there's all kinds of factors why we're strong some days and we're not. Sometimes it's the temperature in the room. It has a huge, like, um, Lance Armstrong talks about the ideal temperature when you race well. Every, every degree that goes above 72, every, every, we have a miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Lance Armstrong said, <laughs> every degree above 72 degrees Fahrenheit makes it 1% harder to do what you're trying to do. So you've got temperature, you've got barometric pressure, you've got biorhythms, you've got the freaking steak sandwich you had the night before. <laughs> right? You had that big argument with the neighbor next door because he doesn't trim his hedge. I don't know what it is. But stress and food and lack of hydration, there's a lot of things, right? You have to kind of pay attention to. Sleep is huge. We'll get into, some huge, uh, get into sleep as well. So, variety, intensity, intensity, consistency. These are the three things that are the magic to really ultimately getting your success. Now we'll get into some more esoteric stuff. Are you ready?